Hey guys, I've been getting a lot of questions about buying land in Wyoming. You guys are hitting me up left and right. So I thought it was just easier to do a real quick video. This is gonna be the cold hard truth. Some people will probably get offended and butt hurt and it's just, it is what it is and we're just gonna deal with it. But let's talk about buying land in Wyoming. Yes, you are not gonna move here from California or Colorado and come in and buy 20 acres with a house, septic, well, power for 200 grand. That's just not a thing. Those days are way gone and way behind. You are way behind the curve if you haven't bought land in Wyoming already. You, you needed to be here a decade ago if you're gonna do that. The people here know what they have. It's beautiful. You know, this is the last true bastion of America. The people here are the type of people you wanna be with. You know, if you're fleeing something else and you're coming here and you think you're gonna do it cheap, you're sadly mistaken and you're ill-informed. You're also not gonna move here and buy property right on the cusp of Yellowstone and stand up 50 Airbnbs. And I'm talking to you people from Colorado. We see this constantly. Oh, look at this piece of land. I'm gonna build some Airbnb. Like, no, there's things called planned use that exist here. So if it's zoned agricultural, it's gonna be agricultural. You're not gonna turn around and make a 50 unit development. We had one of those happen. It's called Copper Leaf. It is unsightly. It's destroyed the Wapiti Valley. As you enter into Yellowstone, it looks terrible. Uh, don't buy property there. Just keep it for the elk. Wapiti means elk in Indian. So keep that for the elk. Let's not destroy Wyoming. Trying to buy a plan and develop it and do all, like, that's just not what we're about here. So if you're looking to buy in Wyoming, understand, yeah, it's gonna be pricey per acre. It's not cheap. Yeah, there's not a lot of people here. You look on a map, you're like, oh man, there's nobody there. They don't know anything. They're in the West you know, or in the Midwest, like West, whatever you wanna call it. It's not that way. You're gonna spend money to live here. It's not cheap. Uh, yes, you don't have any taxes. It's a draw. We have a lot of retirees moving here. They come with money. They come with pensions. There's a lot of former law enforcement and military. They come with pensions. They're able to supplement their income as we don't have a ton of industry outside of oil and gas. So do be prepared to come and generate your own income as well. That's a whole nother thing and a whole nother topic that we will get into later. But we have a ton of retirees moving here. They come with money that drives up land values. It's beautiful. Like you're going to pay for that. It's not gonna be, unless you wanna live out on the Eastern part of the state where it's super flat, windy, you deal with snow drifts and all of that kind of stuff. As you move further West into the state, it gets pricier and pricier. There's a reason that Jackson is the most expensive county in the country. Teton County is the most, most highest income county in the country. All the billionaires are there. Everybody that is anybody that has serious money has land there. There's a reason. It's beautiful and you pay for that. Understand that. You're not coming to Wyoming and you're not buying land for, for dirt cheap. I'm sorry, those days are over. Know that, be prepared. Don't get angry about it. It is what it is. Invest more money. But if you are coming and it is something you're looking at, I advise you to move now. Do not wait. Don't tell me in three years, I'm in three years you're gonna be priced out because everybody else is already on the move. If you're not already in process, forget it. And the other last piece of advice I'll leave you with is if you're seriously considering it, whether you can afford the house or not now, then move here and rent, but be on the ground to be able to go look at these properties and move quickly. We're still seeing uh, multiple bids. We're still seeing people bidding over asking price. Not every property. Now you can buy in the towns and that kind of stuff and get some competitive prices there. But if you're looking at land outside and there's a few key areas, once you're here or if you've been here, you know what they are and you'll see what they are. Those are highly, highly competitive. And to be like, oh, there's one up here and you're not there to look at it, you will lose out on it. You need to be here to be able to execute and move on that. You're not going to be like, oh, I'll be there in a month to look at that property, and it's still going to be there. It's, we're not having the absolute cratering that the rest of the country has. Land is still moving. Things are still going, especially under 400 grand. If that's your budget, up to 400 grand, know that you are in a highly competitive field, and it's not going to be easy for you. All right, hopefully that answered a bunch of the questions that I've gotten. Uh, it was just a quick and dirty. Let me know if you have any more questions. We can do another quick video. Uh, I'm going back to clean out the hoarder house and trying to turn this property into one of those even more desirable properties. I'll catch you guys in the next one.